One question I get asked all the time from newbies is what should I wear mountain biking? I'm gonna answer that question in this video. First things first, aside from a helmet, which should be a mandatory thing you buy right away, you do not have to rush out and buy all the gear to get started. It's okay to wear what you have and then add as you go along. Chances are you just bought an expensive mountain bike and buying bike shorts and jerseys and shoes and all the things can really add up in price. So start with what you have. It's okay to wear gym clothes. It's okay to wear athletic shoes. And then as you have the ability, add in some of these things I'm gonna suggest. So the first that I already mentioned is a helmet. That's a non-negotiable safety item. You need to get a helmet right off the bat. For most types of mountain biking, you just need a half shell mountain bike helmet. <laughs> If you're going to do downhill mountain biking or going to kind of like do jumps or drops, then you might also want to consider a full face helmet. But for most of you, a half shell helmet is what you're looking for. In the video description, you can also find links to all of our product recommendations. We've done lots of tests and reviews to kind of pick out the best gear. So for instance, if you're looking for a helmet, check out those links for our favorite helmets. Next up after a helmet is a good pair of mountain bike shorts. Most folks mountain biking wear baggy shorts. These just provide you a little bit extra protection on the trail. You can sit down and have a snack. You can ride in the mud and you're going to have extra protection compared to a regular pair of cycling shorts. That said, if you like, if you already have a pair of Lycra cycling shorts that you like, you can wear that on the mountain bike, that's okay. In addition to baggy shorts, underneath you can just wear underwear or you can choose to wear a padded chamois. A padded chamois is gonna give you some extra cushion and comfort on the bike and can be really helpful if you suffer from sore sit bones. Instead of shorts, you could also wear mountain bike pants. These are particularly good for like lift serve downhill riding because they give you extra protection, but they can also work great for cooler or cold days. On top, you're gonna wanna wear a mountain bike jersey. Mountain bike jerseys tend to be looser fitting than the road counterparts. They may or may not have pockets in the back. If you're not planning on wearing any kind of pack while you ride, then having some pockets in the back can be great for holding in a cell phone or snacks. If it's colder out, a flannel can work really well over your jersey. And I also really like merino long sleeve layers because they don't get cold when they're wet. They stay pretty stink free. Merino is a great cold weather top item. As with most outdoor sports, the key with mountain biking is really to layer. Now, if it's summertime, you can just go out in a pair of shorts and a short sleeve jersey and you'll be fine. But if you're riding in the winter or in the spring and fall, layering is what becomes really key because when you start out, you might be really cold and then you're gonna get hot climbing and then you're gonna get cold going downhill again. So you wanna draw some layers that are easy to take off and put back on. To carry layers, I recommend carrying like a hip pack or a hydration pack you can stuff stuff in. Or if you don't wanna carry a pack, you can also get like a frame bag for your bicycle that you can stuff layers in. In addition to your clothing, you're gonna want a pair of long fingered gloves. These provide protection in case you crash. You don't wanna take the skin off of your palms. And they can also protect you from branches or overgrowth on the trail hitting your hands. Finally, they provide you a little extra cushion and a little extra grip on your handlebars. Another safety item is eye protection. This can either be sunglasses or goggles, depending on the kind of riding you're doing. You definitely want some kind of eye protection because you, in addition to protecting your eyes from the sun, you will get mud and dust and rocks and bugs and all kinds of things flying into your eyes. Any kind of pair of sunglasses will work great. If you prefer, you can get a cycling specific pair of sunglasses. And if you're gonna do any kind of like downhill, lift serve riding or enduro riding, you'll want a pair of goggles for additional protection. For water and gear, you can choose to wear a hip pack or a hydration pack on your back. This isn't mandatory. You can always just carry things in bags on your bike and water bottle cage, but a lot of mountain bikers choose to ride with some kind of pack as well. For shoes, I already mentioned you can get started with a pair of athletic shoes, 
but eventually you're going to want to upgrade to a pair of mountain bike shoes. Mountain bike shoes help a lot. They have a much stiffer sole than a regular shoe to help with power transfer. And they also have a grippier sole to help keep your feet planted on the pedals. You're going to want to choose the type of shoe you have dependent on the type of pedals you have. So if you have flat pedals, you want a pair of flat mountain bike shoes that have a really grippy sole. If you have clipless pedals on your bike, you'll want to choose a mountain bike shoe that allows you to put cleats on the bottom to match your pedals. Socks might seem like a really trivial thing, but they can actually help a lot. A pair of cycling socks will help keep your feet dry, which is great. You don't want to get athlete's foot. They can either be short, like ankle socks, or they can be a higher sock. And the higher socks are great, especially if you're riding flats, because if you get a pedal strike, it'll help protect your shin. And it can also just help if there's a lot of overgrowth on the trail protecting your legs. Knee and elbow pads can be a really great thing. You don't necessarily need to wear them on all trail rides, but if you're gonna be doing any kind of downhill mountain biking, or maybe you're gonna go work on skills like riding skinnies or riding more technical trails than you're used to, the knee and elbow pads can provide you a lot of protection. There are more malleable, thinner pads that are great for trail riding like G-Form, or you can get like bulkier, more durable pads for downhill riding. If you are going to the bike park, you can also get additional body protection and armor like a chest protector or a neck protector, but those things are not necessary for the vast majority of riders. Finally, if you're riding in the cold or wet, there are lots of good products for outer layers that are water wind resistant. You do wanna make sure that you are buying something that's intended for mountain biking or for being athletic outdoors as opposed to just a regular rain jacket. A regular rain jacket's not gonna be very breathable and you really wanna emphasize breathability on the bike. That should get you started. Remember, it's okay to be a beginner. It's okay to look like a beginner out on the trails. As you progress in your riding, you will get more and more of all the cool gear to go with it. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to get more tips and tricks to help you have fun on your bicycle. Thanks for watching, and until next time, happy riding.